Hello and welcome everyone, Martin Petkov here and today we have a very special topic. Initially I was planning to make the title of this video The Rules of the Game Changed but then I just scrapped the middle part and went directly for The Game Changed. And this is something that some of you will intuitively know immediately as soon as I start talking. For others it may not be as obvious, but I'm sure that once you're exposed to this information, you, you will start noticing these things in your own life and everything that I'm talking about will start to make much more sense. But basically what's going on is the way that reality seems to operate for most people and certainly for the people in, in, in my circle of friends and clients seems to be operating following a new paradigm. The old paradigm was lending itself much more naturally to the Newtonian paradigm of physics. The new one is like the quantum interpretation. And let's again go briefly through a couple of different criteria, a couple of different metrics that will help you understand what I mean. In the old game, things were happening much more slowly. Nowadays, the game that I and a lot of the people that I work with are playing is much quicker. Everything happens simultaneously. You hear about something new. The moment you reach to that person, they already know the kind of language that you're talking about. Things are happening at an incredible pace then the progress tends to be much more simultaneous rather than the sequential progress that we were used to in the, in the old paradigm. So you're exploring a certain area, let's say a business endeavor. Along these very same lines, you meet a person that you find attractive, you begin seeing them. So like two birds with one stone, things are just happening in parallel rather than the old sequential way. The outcomes tend to be much more unexpected nowadays and that, that is some, sometimes on the lower side, much less than what you expected, but on most occasions it's actually much more. So it's no longer predictable, but nonetheless it gives you surprises and it brings you surprises that are very beneficial for you. The events tend to unfold in a very synchronistic way. So for whatever reason, I am delayed going out of my house with five minutes on the way to the station. I meet someone that wouldn't have been there had I left on time. We strike a conversation with, it turns out that there is something very important that we need to follow up. We're working on similar projects. It turns out to be an amazing business opportunity. And such synchronistic events tend to happen more and more often with more regularity for a lot of the people that I communicate with. And this is in stark contrast to what used to happen in the old game where everything was planned, sequenced. Okay, we're meeting at 15 to 3 today. Yep, we're there on time. Same old, same old. No. In the new game, don't be discouraged if you miss a train or, or, or if something gets cancelled. Certainly there is a better opportunity awaiting. It's just about having the awareness to discover that and make the most of it. Decisions. The way that people make decisions under the new paradigm is substantially different if you want to be effective and successful, of course. The guidance for decisions now tends to be intuition listening to your gut, being grounded and listening to your gut, or also listening to your heart, to your emotions. Does that feel right to you? I've been seeing that person for a couple of meetings to see whether we can make progress. How do I feel in their presence? If I feel peaceful, calm in their presence, inspired after we meet, most likely this is the right step forward. Maybe we need to explore what we can do together. And this again is in contrast to the previous, to the old paradigm, which was about logic and reason, it, and it was primarily head driven. So the head is very helpful for simpler, longer term, more financially involved decisions. Nowadays, things move much more quickly. Intuition, good heart are absolutely essential. And finally, the dominant emotion that is going to drive you forward and help you be effective and feel at peace in the new paradigm is faith. 
it's about having the undisturbed and definite confidence that whatever happens things are going to unfold in the best possible way for you there is no doubt about that while in the old paradigm it was pretty much fear based or, or fear driven how can i get as much safety and security in my life as i can what if this happens what if that happens most of the time even the worst case scenario is not that bad and even if the worst case scenario happens there will be a tremendous growth and learning opportunity for you so even that is not so bad but what is the driving emotion that is helping people succeed in the new paradigm that is faith the universe has your own best interest as its top priority so whatever whatever happens even if it feels uncomfortable or it's not exactly what you wanted is 100 percent exactly what you needed so make the most of it i hope that makes sense we covered quite a lot i'm not as specific as i usually am but a lot of these things will start to make more and more sense to you as things unfold and as you're aware of what's going on and you're able to see it in your own life and your own experience make sure you subscribe before you go let me know if you have any questions and i look forward to seeing you next time